So welcome back. So, all right. So after my experience with Burgess Seed and Plant Company, I had pretty much written off all of ordering trees and plants online. But sometimes you just have to. Like, I cannot find nut trees locally, and especially not hazelnut. I don't know why, but the only place I can find them is online. And Starks didn't have them currently available, or at least they won't be available again until next spring. And I'm like, I kind of would like to get some planted as soon as possible. So I went to fastgrowingtrees.com, whom I've never ordered from because they are the most expensive place to order anything, and it's never seemed worth it. Um, never seemed worth it, generally, generally speaking. Like, because of my mixed experience ordering plants online, to put out a huge chunk of money is, like, really nerve-wracking. So the end result, which I'm going to show you, I'm not happy about, but I'm not going to blame fast-growing trees, and I will explain why in a moment. So this is what showed up. <laughs> This half-dead, not-so-great-looking plant. Um, probably still alive, but all the leaves are dead. And I ordered two. They're American hazelnut. The other one does not look too much better. Maybe a little bit better. But this is because this was sitting in a FedEx truck for a week. So, F.U. FedEx, <laughs> for starters. So I blame mostly FedEx for this abysmal abysmal issue, but to fasttrees.com, fast tr fastgrowingtrees.com's, that's hard to say, credit, I called up customer support, and I was just like, look, these ended up dead, and they were like, oh, are you sure they're dead, and just not in shock? I was like, well, one's completely dead, the other one's mostly dead, <laughs> and she's like, oh, okay, you know what, I'll just send you a replacement, so you don't even have to worry about it, so I'm like, brilliant, literally, that was the entire call to customer service, and the, and the phone only rang twice before somebody picked up. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's some of the best customer service I've had. Now, Starks Brothers has been amazing, but the problem with Starks Brothers is they only, for the most part, or for, at least with the trees, at least in my experience, <laughs> they send bare root. It's all bare root. Um, I think they do have options of, of buying things in dirt and still alive, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should look into those before I... I'm not going to criticize them for not doing that, but a lot of what I've ordered is bare root. FastGrowingTrees.com, I believe, sends everything in buckets, actually potted. So, I mean, this is like a, a little aeration bucket. Then they wrap this in plastic to keep the moisture in. But again, it was sitting in a hot FedEx truck, in, you know, in the middle of summer. So it was dried out, fortunately, which makes me think it may not make it. But I thought that was pretty cool. And that seems to be their standard way of doing things. And because of this, because they don't do bare root, they, they sent this to me like this was in a truck on its way to me shortly after I ordered it. So I didn't have to wait until fall or spring, which is often where I have to get my, when I have to get my bare root. Like, I think that's the reason why I can't order hazelnuts other places because until next spring, because that's when, you know, the bare root will be ready. You know, it has to be in like hibernation to survive the, uh, the, the transit, the shipping. So that's pretty cool. The packaging was pretty good. Again, I, th I think this deadness is mostly due, I'm not ready to, to criticize fastgrowingtrees.com, I think this is FedEx's fault. But what I love is fastgrowingtrees.com, customer service didn't even ask me about the shipping. They're just like, here you go. Maybe they know. Maybe they're putting in the insurance and complaint claims with FedEx themselves. I'm not sure what the situation is. I'm just told they're going to send me new ones, and hopefully those will not sit on a truck, and a FedEx truck for a week, <laughs> and they'll get to me. And, and hopefully these will survive, because then I'll end up with even more American hazelnuts. So I'm pretty excited. They have a wide variety, and I'm actually thinking about very soon putting in another order for more production level and disease resistant varieties of hazelnut, because I am definitely focusing on hazelnut. So in general, I'm not ready to say bad things about fastgrowingtrees.com, not at all. Um, thus far, the process has seemed to be really good, but again, you get what you pay for. Burgess Seed and Plant Company, they were the cheapest I found. I went ahead and gave them a try. And I got what I paid for. I paid half the price of everything, but most things showed up dead. The customer service was awful. Um, you know, so that's just, that's just the way it goes. So if you're going to order online, if you order locally, 
buy locally from a local nursery for all those plants. Like it was really dumb of me to ever order apples or cherries or things of that nature because every place sells those around here. So I really should have just bought local. And I will be in the future, but this is pretty cool. The other thing I like about fastgrowingtrees.com is because they're sending, they, one, they send very mature plants too, which I think is super duper cool. The reason why they're fast growing is because, I mean, you can order really old plants. Like you can get plants that are, I believe, seven or eight feet tall and you know many years old. And a lot of their trees, basically their selling point is they'll, they'll fruit you know, within a year, either that year you, re you receive them or the next year, including these hazelnuts. Like if these were, you know, look like they're gonna be happy. These may, may very well have fruit, fruited this year and um, almost certainly would next year because of their age. And these weren't even the biggest. These were, this is their three or four foot plant. Like I know it looks dead, but just hang in, just hear me out for a second. Look at all these stems. Look how thick it is. Look how big it is. Often when I buy trees online that are three or four foot, it's like a stick that might be three feet tall, you know? And this wasn't even the biggest. Like I bought something on the cheaper side and by cheaper, these reach $50 a piece. So not exactly cheap. Again, the most expensive place I found to buy, but they are, they look pretty good in terms of size for a three and three or four foot. And this isn't even the biggest. You can get these at the seven foot or plus stage. Basically they will, they, you have to pay a little bit extra for those really tall things because they need to use a, an extra long box and FedEx charges more for that kind of shipping. So you do pay, have to pay a little bit more in shipping, but I thought this was pretty amazing. I was pretty darn impressed. Um, so I'm probably, I'm probably going to go ahead and, and buy some more hazelnuts. I don't know. I'll say, I guess I'll, I should wait and see how those next set of hazelnuts arrive. But, uh, you know, in general, I'm pretty positive holding out hope. I'll definitely do an update if everything arrives horrible again, or if these do horrible, maybe I'll, my opinion will shift it down fastgrowingtrees.com, but I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty happy thus far. We'll just see how it works out. And, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully it all works out because I would love to find a source of hazelnuts. Anyway, I'm really rambling at this point. I just wanted to do a quick update that maybe ordering online isn't always a bad idea, but you get what you pay for 1000%. And I'm glad to be, I, I honestly, I'm glad to do this for you to try these things out so you'll know. And Hopefully people will find these review videos and they'll be helpful and they'll know not to order from Burgess Plant and Seed Company and maybe give Fast Growing Trees or Starks Brothers a shot. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey.